So it's May 30th, 2012, and I'm under the bridge. Not just any bridge. Iron Bridge. In around two and three quarter hours, the Olympic torch will be coming right over the bridge. One problem, it's going to be packed. I'm here already, it's around half twelve. Comes across the bridge at around quarter past three, and it's hot and sunny. So I might have to take advantage of this little hole here. At the moment there is a lot of school children, but it's not as busy as it could be, but come quarter past three, pretty much going to be screwed for space. I'm just trying to work out the best position to wait. Look at the view there from the bridge. I wonder if I can procure one of those chairs. Do I look important enough? The Stetson might give it away. There's the view across the bridge, up towards the church. I've got Olympic banners up. And down here is a nice little quiet spot for me. When you get down here, there's hardly a great position to see the torch. And here is the bridge from this side of the river. Hmm, I wonder if I can procure one of those and stay on the river. That might be a good angle. I really do want to see the torch because I'm probably never going to be able to see it again unless I can travel to the next Olympics, which I think is in Rio. Hmm, Brazil. Anyway, it's a light. It's a beacon of hope and prospects. <laughs> and to see it cross that, I think would be quite special. You see, I keep finding seemingly quiet spots on the fire that they're going to be cut off when the torch comes through. But a woman gave me an idea, which I'm going to check out up these here steps. And the idea is that, the churchyard. Now imagine if you will, the torch coming over the bridge there. And it's quiet here at least. Look how green the wood is today. The beautiful Iron Bridge Gorge. I'm going to work on the theory that I can catch two events, the bridge crossing and the kiss. Let's see if that is physically possible to do by walking at a fairly brisk pace to the pub where there's supposed to be the kiss. Rumours of Morris dancers are confirmed. There is the convoy. Yeah, they come down, down from Brosley, down over there. And there's the torch. Where's the torch? It's just come off the, off the coach there. Wow. I'll definitely get it crossing the bridge. Uh, so engrossed was I trying to hold the camera steady and actually seeing the torch, I forgot to do a commentary, so here goes. You can see there the lantern where they keep the flame, and the flame is just being lit now. The torch there being lit, slightly concealed there by somebody, but there is the flame lit. And there he is holding it aloft, looking very happy there. He's showing it to the crowd, having his photo taken, looking very happy indeed.
Oh, that is amazing. He seems to be having the time of his life. He's grinning, laughing. It's fantastic. Oh, he's moving. The torchbearer on the bridge, his name is Lyndon Flavel. 37 years old from Wolverhampton. Very lucky there to be running across the 230 year old Iron Bridge. Showing it off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to want to reverse in a moment. And I was quite eager Five, to leave, four, as you will see three, now. Take care. Will do. Run. The enthusiastic girls singing right here are friends of the girl who is going to be the next torchbearer. Cheering her on. It's fantastic. The atmosphere is palpable and loud. <laughs> This sweet little girl is Danny Rollinson, aged 14, from Telford. I wished her good luck. There. Danny has come through a lot, having been diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder at age 9 and unfortunately was unable to attend school for five months and later she developed anorexia and spent six months in hospital she was absolutely determined to recover and showed amazing inner strength and courage to get better today she is healthy and fit and ready to run the olympic torch her ambition is to run 1500 meters in the 2020 olympic games what an inspirational hospital there. I don't think I've ever run so fast. Is it going on YouTube? Hello, okay. Say hello. Hello, YouTube. Good. A guest star. <laughs> okay, here's the convoy here. You can see that woman there holding the cycloptic Olympic mascot known as Wenlock which is appropriate as it went through the town of Much Wenlock earlier in the day. This big yellow van here came within a foot of me, it was quite close, and then the grand reveal as Lyndon Flavel is coming down the wharfage of Ironbridge wielding the Olympic torch and there is the Olympic torch kiss where one torch lights another. Both of them looking extremely happy there. And that is what I wanted to see. Both torches lit. Lyndon Flavel shaking the hands of one of the guards there. And there goes Danny Rollinson. Continuing down the wharfage of Ironbridge. The power station in the background there. Wow, uh, there's a big bus coming. Excuse me. Excuse me. I followed the convoy down the wharfage and was lucky enough to see many, many torches in the bus there. And I managed to get a little bit closer using my manners and some elbows. And there is Danny Rollinson again on the bus after running her 300 yards down the wharfage.
So I did it. That was a part of the Olympic torch relay going through Ironbridge. I cannot believe how close I got. We got some fantastic footage and I'm absolutely shattered from running and doing my own bit of jogging. Oh well. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Goodbye.